May 10th, St. Antoninus, Bishop. Antoninus, or Little Anthony, as he was called from his small stature, was born at Florence in the year 1389. After a childhood of singular holiness, he begged to be admitted into the Dominican house at Faisal, but the superior, to test his sincerity and perseverance, told him that he must first learn by heart the book of the creedals containing several hundred pages. This apparently impossible task was accomplished within twelve months, and Antoninus received the coveted habit in his sixteenth year. While still very young, he filled several important posts of his order and was consulted on questions of difficulty by most learned men of his day, being known for his wonderful prudence as, quote, the counselor. He wrote several works on theology and history and sat as papal theologian at the Council of Florence. In the year 1446, he was compelled to accept the archbishopric of that city and in his dignity earned for himself the title, the father of the poor. For all he had was at their disposal. St. Antoninus never refused an alms which was asked in the name of God. When he had no money, he gave his clothes, shoes, or furniture. One day, being sent from the Florentines to the Pope, as he approached Rome, a beggar came up to him almost naked and asked him for alms for Christ's sake. Outdoing St. Martin, Antoninus gave him his whole cloak. When he entered the city, another was given him, by whom he did not know. His household consisted of only six persons. His palace contained no plate or costly furniture and was often nearly destitute of the necessities of life. His one mule was frequently sold for the relief of the poor when it would be bought back for him by some wealthy citizen. He died embracing the crucifix on May 2nd in the year 1459, often repeating the words, To serve God is to reign. Alms deeds, says St. Augustine, comprise every kind of service rendered to our neighbor who needs such assistance. He who supports a lame man bestows an alms on him with his feet. He who guides a blind man does him a charity with his eyes. He who carries an invalid or an old man upon his shoulders imparts to him an alms of his strength. Hence, none are so poor, but they may bestow an alms on the wealthiest man in the world.